Hello Aquarius, we're getting ready to do your love reading. We're going to do three shuffles for Aquarius and love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Reading for the collective, so all parts will not resonate. Treat it like a buffet table and take what's yours and leave the rest. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is, ooh, the Page of Swords. You are scoping something out, you're checking somebody out, and you're not letting them know about it. Okay. So let's see what the mutual energy in the recent past between you and your lover have been. The Sun card, Leo energy. What's the mutual energy currently in your relationship? Ouch, feeling left in the cold. You're, you have Taurus energy here as your mutual energy. Five of coins. How does your person see the relationship? Ace of coins. I love it. So that is earth sign energy. They really see that there is tremendous value in the relationship. How they view you, Aquarius. They see you as the Libra person who's very balanced. You want justice and you want balance in your life. How they feel in their heart space, seven of cups. A sense of confusion, a sense of being left out in the cold, not really understanding why and trying to figure out what their best course of action would be. How they view the situation moving forward with you. Nine of coins. Single and ready to mingle. It's a card of singlehood though. How they, what is the mutual energy hidden between you? The two of swords, both of you, both of you are in this energy that is very much Libra energy, Libra energy. Like you don't want to discuss something. Hmm. Spirit is recommending for you to do some surveillance work. The truth is not being revealed right now by someone in this relationship. And Spirit is saying, you know, take care. There is energy in the relationship that is dishonest or at least hidden. What's the outcome? Temperance, coming back together again, finding the middle ground, finding your, your balance in the relationship. Temperance is usually a reconciliation card, reunion card, or just balancing things out in a relationship so that they're, they're, they feel good again. So why do we have the Page of Swords card here for you as your overall energy? Tell us more about the Page of Swords. Spirit, give us three cards for the Page of Swords, please. Page of Swords, okay. We have the World card. So it looks as though something is coming to a close, a very successful close, and a new chapter is going to begin here. I'm getting the Star card. Wow, beautiful. Wonderful energy. And then we have the Libra Queen. So... Aquarius, what I'm seeing, this is your card. You are the star. So what we're seeing is that you're moving forward in your life. It looks as though it may have something to do with money or career. Uh, the justice card is usually contracts, uh, but legal, legal documents, legal agreements. The ace of coins usually is to do with employment. And we have this energy that says that you are going to be very, very picky about what you do in the future. It does look like you're making a career decision that will impact your significant other. Why do we have the Sun card for the recent past energy for you? Why do we have the Sun card there? We have, okay. The Sun card is clarified by the Four of Coins, holding on to your money while enjoying your life. The Temperance card, Temperance card, booking, ending the relationship, reading. So you started out very calm, cool, collected, very happy and you end that way, okay. Looking at things from a different perspective, look at that nine of coins again. So both of you look as though you're trying to figure out what's going to happen in the future. What I would say, Aquarius, is you are probably the driver here, sort of in the driver's seat. I don't think either of you have all the information you need at this time to make a big change, but it looks as though you want to have a big change could be just career, but it could also be relationship change. So why do we have the five of coins? Why do you both feel closed out of one another's lives? You're missing one another. 
the justice card. You're trying to find balance in your relationship. Something is, what I'm seeing here is the energy. It looks like you're having a disagreement. And it looks as though that disagreement could be about, about something in the relationship involving money. And that it looks as though the two of you can't quite reconcile your differences. I do get the energy that the two of you are committed to one another, but there's something about career, money. You know, when we look at the Justice card with the Hierophant card, those are marriage cards because Seventh House is Libra. That's in the astrology wheel. That's, you know, the legal contract of marriage. And then we get the Death card. There may be some Aquarius friends here who are married or have a partner who's married who is ending a relationship and so you haven't resolved all the issues. That's what I would say for many of you. For others of you, it's going to be big critical decisions being made about career based on either a job ending or the desire to end a job and start a different, a different job. Okay. Why do we have the Ace of Coins as a way your person sees a relationship at this time? They feel like it's one of value. Yeah, there we go. Capricorn Queen. Uh, the Mommy card. The Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to scoot that out of the way. The Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups is the engagement set. That means that your person is wondering if it's time to give you a ring. Of course, they're going to be sneaky about it. And of course, they're not going to tell you ahead of time. And that energy that they're bringing that is, has you a little bit underwater. It has you feeling very vulnerable with this person. But look at this. Your person is really, really set. Really set, Aquarius. They are really determined to make this work out. They see you as very hard working. We go from the eight of coins to the nine of coins twice here double energy and when we look at we look at a lot of queens here there's a lot of queens so it does say that your person either you know one of you works with a lot of women or your person is defending your relationship against what may appear to be female friends that they fear gossip it's almost like they're really afraid of what other people may say about your relationship Okay, so the way they see the two of you moving forward, Seven of Coins. So now we have the Seven of Coins, the Eight of Coins, and the Nine of Coins. So it looks as though both of you are looking towards a future with one another with the Seven of Coins, but you're being very stealth about it. There's something very stealthy about what the two of you are doing. We have Scorpio energy here twice and it's a death and rebirth so why do we have the seven of cups energy for your person that's really they're they don't know what's going on they're very bored they don't like the place that they're in with you they're feeling as though this is just a situation that seems to be going on too long what is the situation for our Scorp uh, for our aquarius friends Lover's card reversed, not making a choice, feeling left in the cold. The lover's card reversed means that you're not in the situation right now that you really, your person is not in the relationship where they want to be. They do have fire in their belly. They're not going to say anything, but they're worrying at night. They're hoping that you will throw caution to the winds and open up to them. I have the sun card again sun card so your person really feels they want you they don't know how you feel about them they're not sure if you're telling them the truth about having other options but we de we see them really hanging in with you both of you are looking at things you're both seeking enlightenment you're both trying to find answers about how to move forward in the relationship Tell us more about this um, aspect. What is Aquarius needing to know to find out about this relationship and where it stands? Eight of Wands reversed. It looks like the intimacy may have died down. I don't want to say died down, that's a bad term. 
but it doesn't look like the two of you behind closed doors are having the kind of relationship you once had. So I would say that both of you are exhausted, but you're both searching for answers and trying to figure out if the other person has is having a fling. And the way I'm seeing this, Aquarius, is it looks like your person's more worried about you having a fling than, than they seem to be. Okay, so let's see. What do we see here for the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords energy for this reading? Why is it here? Revealing the truth. So truth is going to be revealed at this time about, about a situation in which someone is keeping their options open. Spirit's advice is to keep your options open, which is you know, kind of unusual. Spirit is also saying that the advice is keep the romance, um, you know, be happy with one another, have gratitude. But it also says that right now, if you don't make a choice in this relationship, it, what we're seeing here, you're at a crossroads. Spirit is recommending you make a choice, but make the choice that's healthy. The devil reverse, make the choice that's healthy. Why is temperance here for your outcome card? Why is temperance here for your outcome? What's temperance here for your outcome? Use your intuition. Nurture the relationship. Aww, Aquarius, Six of Cups, soulmate energy. Ten of Cups, oh, beautiful. Happily ever after. Somebody wants to give the other a gift. Oh man, I've been seeing a ring in the Aquarius and Pisces readings for months. And so nobody ever comments though, it's kind of an odd thing. Let's look and see what the Animal Spirit Oracle deck has as advice for you. But it looks as though the two of you are trying to build a new future, different place. You're trying to start over on your relationship with either new jobs or a new home or a different location. So, and it looks as though there's a lot of uncertainty about it, but the love looks like it's there, but there's a lot of worry. Fox Spirit, think on your feet. Okay. Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter. So that's emotional clutter as well as physical clutter. One more card. Oops. Okay, hold on. All right. We have Giraffe Spirit. See the big picture. So again, it doesn't, it really is an odd reading because it's a little bit unsettling. However, I'm reading this very much as the two of you wanting to stay together. Let me look at the Lenormand deck or the Kipper, I'm sorry, Kipper deck and see what this is about. Let's see. Three Kipper cards, please, for our Aquarius friends, and they just fell on the floor. Okay. So we are seeing mice, air recognition. Okay, so something's going on in the relationship that's eating away at it. Think twice before rushing in an adventure. So what? <clears throat> so whatever it is that you're planning, it does look like the two of you are beginning to think it might not be a viable option. It looks like it's sort of being chipped away at. Okay, that was just the, the card that comes in the deck pack. <laughs> okay, that's a title card. It's not really a Lenormand, it's not really our card. Woman A, trust a woman that really loves you for advice. So, let's see here. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Um, it looks as though things are just in limbo right now. It does look like you love each other very much, and there is a ring coming. So, all right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.